my name is Kate and welcome back to Chickadee Says. Hi. It's another Samoyed Sunday and it is hot here in Denver. As you can see, the girls are panting. It has been in the 90s all week, super warm, and so we thought it'd be fun to make a little cooling treat for the girls. So these are Greek yogurt based peanut butter and peach frozen pops. And we'll show you what we need. There you go, come down, Mips. By the way, this is Tinkerbell, and this is Miko. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Okay, we'll need a blender. Yeah, peanut butter. What do you think, girls? What is this? I make my own peanut butter because I'm not a big fan of lots of sugar. I use organic peanuts and break it down in the food processor until it's nice and creamy. You will also need Greek yogurt. Yeah, I like the full fat kind. I think full fat is great for dogs. If your dog is overweight, you can always go for low fat as well. Hi. Uh, banana. Mine looks very weird because I can never go through an entire thing of bananas, so it's frozen. But I'll take it out and mash it and they're good as new. A peach. A lot of recipes use honey as a sweetener. But for puppies like Miko, who is about 10 months old, Anything under a year, just like with babies, you don't want to use honey just because there's a chance of botulism and their immune systems just aren't quite up to par yet. So I'll be using about half a peach instead. Silicone. So these are little silicone molds. You can either have big ones like these stars, flowers, or hearts. And I like silicone because you can stick them and pop the frozen bits out and then it won't lose anything stuck to the side. Or there are little ones as well. I have little hearts and little squares for just a fun little treat. Okay, you girls ready to make some popsicles? Okay, let's go. Come on. Making the actual treats is very simple. I've already popped in the banana because it is gushy because it's previously frozen. You need to add in about three cups of Greek yogurt. Add in half a cup of peanut butter. Once again, my peanut butter is homemade, but if you want to stay away from the sugar, you could always go to Whole Foods or Sprouts or something like that and get the all natural peanut butter there. Or if you don't mind the sugar and your pups are fine with it, you can always use regular peanut butter that you have in your pantry. Last but not least, I like to add in half a peach. Go ahead and cut it up into slices. Stay away from the knife puppy dog. Little chunks just to make it easier to blend. You can't have it. No, you'll have it after it's finished. Mm-hmm. So as you can see, it is so easy that I am making it on the couch. You have a full batch of what will be popsicles. What do you think? You can't have it now. We're gonna have to go blend it. Yeah, high five for popsicles. Good job, you do. Oh my goodness. love these treats and they're super healthy for them and because they're nice and frozen they're wonderful hey for a hot summer's day or like it is here in Denver almost fall and still sweltering if you want to check out the full recipe with pictures 
make sure you pop over to my blog, chickadeesays.com. I'll leave the link below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you again for joining us on Samoyed Sundays. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.